Hello there, everybody. This is Ira, and after a very long absence, I am back here on the Vintage Story Simpletons server. I'm here in the little shack at the bottom of my tower. And my friends, it has really been a very long time since I've been on the server, and I'll tell you why. I know the reason. It's, it's not that I simply lost interest in the game, or I was too busy with other things. I, I went and did a, a bad, and I burnt myself out. I burnt myself out looking for a specific resource, and that was sandstone. And I told myself, you know, I can't spend too long looking for sandstone or I'm gonna burn myself out. And then I went and I did it anyway. I searched tens of thousands of blocks on this map. I found tons of claystone, I found tons of chalk, but not a single block of sandstone. It seems that it has not spawned in this world. So I kind of, I burnt myself out and then I said, all right, I'm gonna take a break and then I'll get back to it. And then other things came up and, and I wound up kind of not coming back for a while, but now there's a very good reason to come back, and that is this server is going to be wiped soon. We're going to be resetting it, and we're going to be updating it to the latest version, that is 1.9. Uh, it's not fully released yet, but it's coming very, very close, and as soon as that's released and all set and finalized, uh, we are going to, to start the server over again and start fresh and clean with a new world. And before I get started on this episode, I do want to remind everyone this is a patron server. If you are a patron of me or any other simpleton at $5 or more per month, you can join this server. You do need a copy of the Vintage Story game. It is well worth the price, I promise you. Um, how long has it been since I was on here? My friends, the torches have burned out. The torches were set to last for so long that they should never burn out. But all of the torches have, in fact, burned out. So let's head all the way up to the top of the tower here. I have not been on this server since the last episode, or, or at least since the uh, the time that I spent searching for sandstone. Uh, nothing new has been built here. As far as I know, this area is pretty much not changed since we were last here. Um, but what I want to do for one final episode... Oh, I've got a lot of pigs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What I want to do for one final episode is what you always do for a final episode, and that is a world tour. So to start off the world tour, I'm going to head to Alchemy. Oh my goodness, my friends. It is strange to walk along this path and see all of the torches burnt out. By the way, we're on our way here, and you may see there's something has happened up there. You might remember that one of my patrons... Uh, I believe that's Mephansterus, was building a temple up on top of the mountain there. And he finished it. He finished it. We definitely need to go up and take a look at that. That is one of the many things on my list of places to visit. Oh, there's even a path up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to, to stick to a schedule here. Uh, here's, here's our little shack that we built here, our apothecary. I really like the way this came out, you guys. I really, I feel like, um... It really turned out looking the way that I, I wanted it to look. And I'm, I'm really happy with it. I don't know if anybody really made too much use of the actual apothecary itself. But, you know, the thing about Vintage Story is the actual survival part of the game kind of doesn't last that long before you end up with more resources than you really need. So, it's more about building and decorating. All right, we're nearly at, we're nearly at Alchemy now. Now, I do believe Alchemy pretty much looks the same as it did before, but since this is where we started, this is where we're going to start our tour. So you may remember how I set up this little ruin right here. I blocked it all in, and uh, this is where we had our first resources. This is the first bed, and ingots and things. There was this area down here, which may have monsters in it now. Oh yeah, hello. Hi. How you doing? Oh no, we don't need that. <laughs> don't need that. This is where I got my first tin. This is where I quarried my first blocks. Oh, the memories. Oh, the nostalgia. And oh, this game really is beautiful. You know, especially if you go away from it for a while and you come back and you see the god rays again for the first time in a while. Uh, but yeah, this is where we, we set up the first reeds and the berry bushes. And uh... People started laying stuff out. I started laying out some, some farm plots and things like that. We put our first bees over here. And I think I think what ended up happening with Alchemy is uh, 
everyone kind of had ideas. Ooh, there's a fox. Everyone kind of had some ideas, and I think everyone was worried about stepping on someone else's toes. And so everyone thought, okay, well, to do my specific thing, I'll just go off somewhere else and build there. And then nobody ended up coming back and finishing this town. Um, I don't think that's going to happen again. Oh my goodness, look at that up there. I don't think that's going to happen again in the new server. I think we're going to work a little bit more on working together and making plans together and things like that. Um, you will remember we built a spawn area and we built a path down from spawn. Let's go, let's go take a look at the view from up there. And here we are. All the torches up here are still burning. These were some of the last ones that we placed, so that does make sense. Some of them are out, however. Uh, we've got the beds up here, and of course it's foggy just as we get up here. The fog rolls in. Uh, but you can kind of see the view of the world down there. I don't think anyone really went off to the east to build. Or if they did, they didn't tell me about it, so I don't know to go and look over there. Over there we can see the silhouette of that temple up on the, the next mountain over. And, um... I'm going to go ahead, and I don't think, I didn't bring a bed with me. I'm going to go ahead and steal one of these beds. I don't think anyone is going to need them. I'm going to dump off this nonsense that I don't need. Uh, so this is this is where, where the new players would spawn in. Well, actually, they would spawn in down there, and they would come up here, and we take this nice path down, scenic route to Alchemy. Now, the torches on this path mostly have burnt out. Oh, some of the, some of the ones at the top here are still on, but as we get further down, you'll see, yeah burnt out. I think it's probably safe to assume the rest of these will be burning out very, very soon. There we go. Now we've got a better view. Now we've got a better view. Less of that fog and mist. Oh, and the music is kicking on. Beautiful music. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. Beautiful music by Lo-Fi, I believe. Composed all the music for this game. Very, very, very nice stuff. It's, it's a beautiful game. It's a beautiful world. And I'm a hungry Ira. I'm gonna eat some of this, this cooked meat. Uh, so from here, we are going to go to the next stop, which is the temple. Up on the mountain over there, we've gone around it, we've seen it from all sides. And now it's time to go and, uh, and take a peek at it up close. I have not been up to see it since it was finished, so I'm really excited to take a look. And we are approaching the path up to the temple. I'm really excited to see what it looks like. I mean, from, from down here, it obviously looks amazing. And, oh, look at this. We've got lights on polished andesite rock. And we've got a main entrance. Oh, this is gorgeous. And, of course, the sun is going down on us. I'll tell you what. Let's take a quick nap. Is there even anywhere? I'll put the, put the bed right here. Just take a quick nap. And uh, let's get some daylight to look at this with. And of course, I forget how things work in this game. <laughs> this is not Minecraft. This is Vincent's story. We don't pass till morning, we pass a certain number of hours, so I think... Where is the moon, actually? Well, hopefully the sun will rise soon. In any case, I'll carry a torch, and I've got a lantern in my other hand, so we can see fine. Um, just take in all the details, my friends. I think this probably heads to... Oh, is this the old path up? Okay, well, I want to check out the new path. Because this is a beauteous. We've got torch holders, brass torch holders, we've got oil lamps, and of course we have a lot of torches which are now burnt out. Because it has just been so long. So much time has passed, so we're going to come up into the darkness. Be brave, holding our torch. Look at that out there. Oh my goodness. This, this staircase is, is beautiful. I really like the way this is done. I think the, the color of the acacia matches really well with the andesite. Um, yeah. I like the acacia wood in general. I think I've said this in the past. The acacia wood in this game is really beautiful. Of course, we do still have the issue of uh, put em, put em, put em. Um, my friends, if you think this is natural, I invite you to just take a moment, pause this video, Find a staircase, your nearest staircase, and just walk up and down the staircase. And ask yourself if the world goes boom, 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 with every step. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert here. Um, it doesn't. The world doesn't do that. Our heads stay pretty steady as we go up and down stairs. And this just induces motion sickness, and I find it very frustrating. Is this the way down, the old way down? This is the old way down. Now we're near the top. Oh, it's even worse on the stairs. I beg the developers, please, 
please take a look at how Minecraft does the stairs, where you're basically going up uh, on a diagonal. I'm sure you put a lot of work into this, this uh, choppy motion, but it's it induces motion sickness. At least make an option to turn it off. It is really awful. It's one of one of those things that I keep asking for. Please, please, please. There's so many wonderful things about this game, but it can be better. All right, so we've been in here before. This is the first the first area. And it's just as beautiful as it was when we left it. And of course it's getting foggy now. We can't win. There's the sun, but we can't win with the with the weather. Look at that down there. Oh my goodness, there's so much to explore. So much to explore. Okay. So let's check out some of the other other buildings here. Now, this one right here was under construction. Ooh, be careful you don't walk off the edge, Ira. This one was under construction last time I came here. I think it's all done now. Oh, and it's beautiful. It's a little foggy. It's a little dark, but what can we do about the weather? Not much. The waterfall's coming in from the roof. Um, gorgeous. And a nice view, and the fog is clearing. Wonderful. And the sun is coming up. Oh, it's bright. It's bright. I do not have the gamma turned up, by the way, folks. I decided to, uh, to keep the gamma at the base game level for the purposes of this tour, just so we can get those deeper colors and higher contrasts. Look out at that. Wonderful. And some beautiful, cheerful music to accompany it as well. Spectacular. All right, let's check out the next building. Now, this one was not built at all last time we were here. And, oh, wow. I want to I wanna take a moment here. This is Obsidian. Okay? Now, Obsidian, I believe, is made the same way as it is made in Minecraft. You have to find some uh, lava, which is all the way down at the bottom of the map. Pour some water on it, and then you have to quarry this out. Remember, you can't just break a rock in this game, or you just get little stones. You have to quarry out all of the pieces around it. So this took a tremendous amount of work. Same with the uh, the stone bricks. Each of these stone bricks requires you to quarry out uh, a block like this, and then chisel them. So, oh, look at that! The bronze plates use as a decoration on the floor. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. Just think about how many hours went into chiseling out all of this stone. I mean, and basalt is uh, is also, like, only found around lava, I think. I don't think this is easy to find. The shale is, is easier to find, but the basalt is, is quite rare. And, um... Maybe, maybe you can also generate this with water and lava, but in any case, it's still, it's, it's obviously a tremendous amount of work that went into this. I am blown away, and that is beautiful. Such, such beauty. What we got down here? Just another little lookout. Take a look out across the world. Now, somewhere down there, someone was working on, uh... Mark AFK was working on a stone circle. We'll go and take a look at that. I'm not sure if it's been uh, expanded or not. We're gonna go take a look and find out. All right, so now let's head down. I see there are more buildings down in this direction. I don't know if I'm going the right way. I wanna check out these, there's a little farm over there. This whole area has been decorated and filled in. Ooh, I gotta watch my step. I gotta watch my step, my friends. I'm gonna get myself walked off the edge of the mountain. Splat it onto the ground. Wow, look at that. This is all brand new and beautiful. Brick stairs. Now, the bricks are made from clay, and it takes forever to smelt them up. They take ages to smelt. So this is a little house, a little living area. We've got an aged wooden bed. Got some steps up to the second floor. More beds. Oh my goodness. So much detail, so much work. This is amazing. Wow. Wow. Ugh. Close the door behind me. Was not raised in a barn. I think we've already established this before in the channel. I just want to reiterate, was not raised in a barn. And we've got our farms, we've got our food. Just talking about not being raised in a barn and I left the door open. It's up here, it's up here. More farms. Wow. Wow. Come up over here. Can I cheat and come down on the other side? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Ow! Oh, okay. Just slightly twisted my ankle. Everything's fine. I saw another building over this way. We saw another little tower over here. 
use it. Here we go. Actually, how do we get down there? Hmm. Because this, this is the path we took up, right? This doesn't lead there as far as I know. Maybe there's a door somewhere? I'm gonna, oof, I'm gonna sneak over this way. Try not to ki get myself killed. And we'll find the way out from here, I think. This is just a lovely little 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 area here. A little tower. Let's go up. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to break the leaves. Otherwise I won't be able to get up. I'm so sorry. But I, I have to come up here and see what this is. Is it just like a little watchtower? Cool. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry, my friends. I, I, I'm not very articulate when I'm blown away by, by uh, people's artistic creations. Yep. Okay. Now, oh, let's see if we can find the way out. The proper way out. Seems there is a little door over here, or a little, a little passageway that uh, presumably leads back down. Or connects in some way with the rest of it. Oh, it's dark in here. Spooky! Wow, and there's even more, like, carved out more stone. Maybe this is like a quarry. Aha, this is where this little kind of extra side door went to, I think. Oh, wow, no, there's even more in here. Oh, my goodness. Where does this lead? Okay, so this is where that side door was. Okay, okay. Let's head out, because we've got so much more to look at. There are more builds to take a peek at. Now let's head over and see if that stone circle... I think some progress is made. I don't know if it ever got finished, but let's go and take a peek at what's there now. And there it is. I see it in the distance. Still, I find the easiest way to get here is to swim. I don't think we ever created a path over in this direction. This is the stone circle, which is being worked on. I hear wolves. Pretty sure I hear wolves. Not the best. How do I get in there? How do we get up there? Whoa! Goodness gracious, not that way. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I think this, this, uh, the top of this looks pretty much as it was before. And I think some work has been done underground as well. So this, this is a pretty ambitious project. Again, keeping in mind, you have to quarry out each and every block of these things. This was a huge project. I think the fact that even this much got done is very impressive, because this was a lot of grindy work, and this was a very cool idea. I am looking forward to see what Mark comes up with for the new server. Maybe we can do some collaborative builds together. I do want to go and take one more peek at his build over here, behind my tower. Oh, butterflies. <laughs> and, uh, and then we will head over to where Kat was building her incredible little town. You know, I do like the way these gardens and things came out. I, I had planned to do a lot more work over here and build a proper barn for the animals and such, and that didn't wind up getting done this time around. But I like the way our little area came together. And if you'll remember, again, I don't think this one has changed since the last visit, but let's take another look anyway. Let's take at least a nostalgic look. Oh, that's right, our wolfy friend over here. <laughs> Let's at least take a nostalgic look. Here's Mark AFK's house. And um, he's obviously an incredible builder. And he's done just an amazing job. All the details. The details are the thing that that really get me. Oh, we're getting it's getting dark again. Oh goodness me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn up the gamma for now. Because if I go to sleep, it's just gonna be even darker out. I love this. I just love this build. I adore it. Absolutely adore it. Uh, let's follow the path. I think this path will... We'll have to go around a little bit and then connect up with the road that I built here. With the torches all burnt out. And then we'll run down to Cat's build. And here it is. And you know what? The moon is rising. So let's... Uh, let's pop into this little hut over here and take a nap. And then we can see this place in the daylight, as intended. 
<sighs> Good morning. Take my bed back, thank you. So, um, we remember this place. Yeah, the sun's coming up. We're good, we're good. And we have our original, the original little garden over here. We've got flowers over here. Uh, I think we all remember this. And there's a little basement with storage, and there's an upstairs with some things, but I want to take a look at the rest of this. Now, she did build all of these, uh, these tree farms, which have come in handy. I have come down here, by the way, a few times. I don't know if I did it on camera, but I've come down here several times, harvesting for sticks, harvesting for wood. Um, very useful, and I thank her for setting this all up. And the last time we were here, she had just started building this house as well. Oh, we got the chickens. Hi, chickens! <laughs> Goodness me. I've got a whole bunch of chickens as well. Um, oof, we need some steps. We don't have steps yet, but that's okay. So, this place has clearly been worked on. Now, we have these really... I really like the fences used as windows like this. I like the effect that that has. And we've got the long table with the food bowls. What have we got in here? Let me get my sword, because last time I was in here, I got bopped in the face by a drifter. Don't know if there will be any now. And there is actually food in here. Wow, a considerable amount. We've got the firewood, we've got the cook fires. And then we've got the upstairs. Now this had only just been started last time, and it looks like it has been filled up. We've got beds, we've got chairs, and this is a lovely little inn. Overseer? Maybe it's not an inn, maybe it's a barracks. I'll have to talk to her about what the lore is behind this area. We've got an attic up here, okay, lovely. I like how the, the fireplace comes up and the chimney comes up through there. Keeping in mind as well the way that the smoke particles work in this game. That they really will go up and you'll be able to see them coming out of the chimney when the fire is going. I really like that. So this is gorgeous. I mean, this is, this is just, like, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, wonderful work. The size of it is very impressive. I never seem to be able to make anything this big. I always wind up making things smaller than I mean to. Can we see the chimney? Come around over here. I don't want to jump over the fence there, but... In any case, it is very impressive, it is very nice, it is very functional. And I like it a great deal. I just want to take a look at the chimney. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that looks really nice coming out of there. Alright, now, when I was on my way here, I, uh... I missed a second path. In fact, I think this is it right here. Let's get back to the... Yeah, this is, this is the, the path that leads back to me and Mark's area. And then right here, <gasps> path to Artillery's ba Artillery J's base. Oh my goodness. Artillery J was on here, and this was built the last time I was doing a tour video, and I just ran out of time, and I didn't get to it. And I wanted to make absolutely sure that I properly showcased this build. Artillery J is one of the other simpletons, FYI. And um, he, he built something really, really beautiful. So this is quite a long little trail. Mostly lined with bamboo all the way, and I'm assuming that uh, that Jay actually planted all the bamboo, so that we would have a little bamboo-lined path. Oh my goodness, a little tight squeeze in some places. Ooh, gotta gotta suck in my gut every now and then. Uh -huh. But uh, and again, I I know I've said it before, but kudung kudung, really? Come on now, come on now, developers, help us out. <laughs> Let us just walk up. You can make us go a little bit slower on the stairs if you want to. If you want to make going up the stairs take some kind of energy or effort or whatever. But don't, don't, kadunk, kadunk, kadunk. Please, please, I beg. All right, I'm going to shush about that now. That's enough. I love this path. Look at how this path goes in. It goes around all these water features, around the mountain. There's waterfalls to look at. Like, even the walk to his base is, oh, we just caught a peek. The walk to his base is uh, very scenic and very beautiful. And as for the base itself... And if you were paying attention, you just caught a glimpse. But look how gorgeous this is. Look at that. That is... Oh, and the music swells appropriately. Yes. That is astounding. Look at this build. This is so beautiful. I mean, like... I would never... Let's come over here and get another, get another view. I would never uh, come up with something like this from the blocks that are available in this pack. This type of build style is kind of, I think, Japanese build style is what it seems like. Correct me if I'm, I'm making mistakes here, but again, even when you come up close, just the details. The way the stairs have been used, uh, the way the fences have been used, 
this is this is amazing. Come inside, and uh, yeah, wow. We've gotten lovely views out of all these little windows. It's just it's just amazing. I'm not sure what we've got down here. I think this might just be a quarried out area. Yeah, this is just kind of a. It's all just been kind of hollowed out. I think. I would like to take a look upstairs, and I think we can probably get some nice views as we go further up. I'm not sure what it looks like from the top, but we've got maple and acacia, and you know, I've always felt like the maple had kind of a greenish tinge to it, but when you put it next to the acacia, it looks more yellow, which it's really cool. I like that. I like how that works, using all these different wood colors to create kind of a rainbow effect in the wood, and actually, there we go. Hopefully you folks can still see okay, but it is daytime now. Uh, let's get that contrast up. Oh, wow. So yeah, we do have a view. We can come out on the roof. <laughs> and these are all stacked bamboo. So all that bamboo, uh, it takes quite a lot to make a lot of these blocks. And it was done, it's done beautifully. This is an amazing location that he chose for this build. It's, um, wow. I mean, just look at this this whole little, like, this little, like, lagoon in here. Oh, what's this down here? Oh, is this his little starter shack? Is this where he was actually living while he was building this enormous, enormous, uh, monument? But this is just spectacular. Um, Artillery J, if you're watching, amazing work. Please make sure that you come on to the, the new version once the server is ready and build us something spectacular again, because we need more of this. We need it. We need it in our lives. Let's head back down, and uh, I am going to head back towards my base again to show you some other things. See you there. And here we are, back in wolf country, back in my base, coming around here. This, by the way, was another one of the reasons that I got a little bit burnt out and a little, I got a little frustrated. I'm sure you folks remember uh, I was getting frustrated with the, uh, the pumpkin seeds. So I think there's a chance that that might be changed, that the way the seeds work might be changed in the future. Be make them guaranteed to drop. Look at all the jackets. Make them guaranteed to drop a seed, even if they don't produce any pumpkins, because come on, you know? They're so, so rare and it was, it was really saddening to, to plant that seed and get all excited and then get absolutely nothing out of it. So uh, we're gonna head over this way, where if you recall, yet another of my patrons, was busily building a charcoal burner's hut. Do we still have the foxes? We still got the foxes. Pit o' foxes. There's a foxhole. I'm sorry, foxes, you're adorable, but you eat my chickens, you know? They have to be stopped. There's a lot of, there were a lot of wolves over here before. I don't know if there's still gonna be a lot of wolves over here. I'm a little bit scared. But I got my sword. I got my spear, also important. Now this has been upgraded a bit. Oh my goodness, look at this. Let's go inside the fence where it feels safe. feel nice and safe. Okay, so we've got lots, oh my goodness, so much flax. So much flax. Flax, very useful. Wow. And I believe right here is where the charcoal was being burned. And there's tons of it, oh wow. Oh look at this, and you got some chickens as well. Hello chickens, wow, that's a lot of chickens. And as well as some sheeps, hello sheeps. I like the babies, it's so cute. So yeah. More progress was in fact made. Oh wow, look at this. We've got we've got the linen on the walls. I didn't even know that was possible. I knew we could put it on the floor as carpet. Apparently you can put it up on the walls as well. That's great. Very nice. Very, very nice. So the sun is getting low in the sky. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hang out here at Yober's hut. I'm sure he won't mind. And... Uh, past the night and then in the morning I'm going to take a long hike because there is one more place that I wanted to show off which was never announced and I don't even know who built it but I found it and I feel like the world needs to see it before this server goes down I need to share it with you all so I'll, I'll see you over there tomorrow it is a beautiful morning and I am on my way because I don't need the spear after all I did not encounter any wolves I must have lucked out uh, so, while I was off exploring thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of blocks trying desperately to find sandstone, 
Uh, I did not succeed in finding that, but I did succeed in finding some other beautiful areas and nice views and things. And then, to my surprise, in the middle of nowhere, far, far away from anyone else and unmarked by any signs or any roads or anything like that, I found a build. Somebody had started building a base far, far away from everyone else. Now, presumably just somebody who wanted to kind of play as a hermit and uh, wasn't interested in interacting too much with the other players, and that's fine. You know, sometimes people just want to play by themselves. You want to be on a server, but you still prefer to have your own space. I get it. I can be the same way as well. I love this area, by the way. This is a beautiful area. Um, but I just can't, I can't let the server go without just showing people because I thought it was so cool. It was such a beautiful little build. It didn't look like it was quite complete, but uh, it was worth showing off. So I'm heading roughly in the direction where I remember it being. Let's get up on the shore here and we'll check the map and see if we can see my waypoint. You'll probably see I have a lot of waypoints actually. Uh, uh, nearly there because uh, I was marking resources as I went. But they were all quite far out. So this right here, possible patron shrine. Uh, I wanted to put a patron shrine up. Is this it right here? Gorgeous landscape. Mysterious jungle tower. So we're going there. Minus 1902, 238. And it is a little bit south of west. This is gonna be a long walk. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show you the whole walk, but um, I like this area too. This area is really pretty. So, I don't know who it was that went way, way out there. If this is yours, leave a comment. Leave a comment and and uh, and make yourself known. Take credit because you, you were doing a really nice job. And I'm sorry if it's not something you wanted to be shown on YouTube. If not, you know, you don't have to identify yourself. You can stay anonymous. But I think you'll find that people will be very impressed with this work. By the way, that possible patron shrine that I had marked on the map is uh, it's just up there. It's almost directly north of here. I wanted to build a, a mountaintop kind of shrine to the patrons, build statues of everybody and show them off. I never wound up getting around to it this time, but that is something I would like to do next time around. So even the patrons who aren't on here playing with me, I would like them to get a little recognition. Um, we'll just just take a moment here while I'm, while I'm jogging and just say, you know, this server wouldn't exist without the patrons. This is, you hear this people, YouTube, YouTubers saying this kind of thing all the time, but it is genuinely true. We wouldn't be able to offer these kinds of servers and all this kind of stuff without help from all the patrons. I mean, you, you folks are paying for this server. So uh, if you want to support us, if you want to play with us, do consider checking out my Patreon page. Consider checking out the Patreon pages of the other simpletons. Um, wow. Let's just, can we just for a moment? Just wow. This is what exploring in this game is like. It's just an endless series of wows. Gorgeous landscape. I even marked it. Okay, we head almost directly west from here. I mean, if I had found this before starting to build where I built, I would have built here. This is this is amazing. I mean, this is all naturally generated. The the landscape generation in this game is incredible. It makes Minecraft look like a pile pile of pile of something unpleasant that you wouldn't want in the bottom of your shoe is what it makes it look like. Just imagine living here. Maybe next time. Next time we'll do some exploration before we settle down, I think. And probably work together with the others on the server. And uh, actually start building together. I would really, really like if we can manage to start building together a bit more next time around. It's hard to do. Everyone's got their own ideas, their own opinions, their own visions. But... When you do it and you pull it off, you can do things together that, that any one person cannot pull off alone. And you can see what people can pull off alone. What do you think we can manage if we work together? And there it is. There it is, my friends. Somebody came way, way out here. Thousands, literally thousands of blocks away from anyone else. And they built this. And they didn't brag about it. And they didn't say, hey, everyone check out this cool thing I made. They just quietly came out here, found a beautiful spot. Not a difficult thing to do in this game, but still. They found a little jungle area. And they built this. Let's head up and take a look. Whoever this is, again, I apologize for trespassing. And I apologize for showing off your work without your permission, but take credit if you, if you want it in the comments below. 
And if you don't, just know that uh, this is very, very impressive and amazing, and I love it. But it looks like they're kind of going for... <laughs> I left the <this> sign. <laughs> Uh, it looks like they were starting to do some kind of modern architecture. You see, like, the boxy shapes and straight lines and things. Uh, but with the jungle materials. And it's just so cool. I mean, look at the size of the tree, first of all, that they were building into and eventually cutting down. And they've got all their resources around. It looks like somebody who started playing a while ago and then probably abandoned this before finishing it because it doesn't look like it's been added to since the last time I was here, and that was a while ago. But this is just so, it was such an amazing thing. This is, this is one of the joys of playing on a server, even if you are somebody who prefers to play alone. Just being able to go wandering, and I was wandering all over the place. I was everywhere, I was searching for resources, um, I was searching for ruins, and this is a ruin down here, and I was marking things here and there. What do we got? We got slate, put slate up there, up here there's, Ruins stash where I found a whole bunch of ruins and I, my inventory was full, so I started stashing stuff there. Ore stash. Uh, what do we got? We've got iron mine, like all of these things all over the place. And I'm just wandering, and out of nowhere, I see this. Like, just no warning. All of a sudden, there's there's a treehouse out on the horizon. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Whoever's doing this, you know, uh, first of all, nice work. Second of all, sorry for trespassing. Third of all, even if you didn't manage to finish this one, I really hope that you will join us on the newly refreshed and renewed and reset server to build something awesome because I want to see more from you. Whoever you are, I want to see more from you. Nice job. Very cool. You, you genuinely, you gave me an incredible moment when I was out exploring where I thought nobody else had been. And here I found this tower of a house, partially constructed. Absolutely amazing. But folks, um, I think we are probably way over time at this point. I wanted to make sure to include everything that I knew about on the server before we started over. Uh, if you build something on the server and I missed it, and it wasn't in this video, I'm so sorry. I, I went to all the ones that I could think of. Um, but we will have a world download. So we're not just gonna delete the world and it's gonna be gone forever, uh, but we will in fact have a world download and I think we can make that available to everyone. And I'm not sure if the plan is just to make it available to people who are playing on the server, but I will, I will uh, see if I can push for making that available to the public, even people who are not patrons or simpletons so that anyone who wants to can come and explore our little world and take a look at these constructions in person and maybe find someone else's incredible jungle tower that they just built in the middle of nowhere and didn't tell anyone about. Uh, but that is going to be it for this one. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you extra, extra much to everyone who helped play on the server and support the server. Thank you extra, extra much to all the patrons and all the viewers, and we will be back in the near future with a new server, and new plans, and a new world to enjoy. Until then. Uh, uh, this, this, okay, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!